Uh, my name is Nikhil Joseph, and uh, I work at Facebook. Uh, I'm a fraud malu. Uh, I'm a narcissist. I hate I should arrive, <laughs> but I've passed all my exams, and uh, I hated engineering. I love whiskey. I love Bon Jovi. Uh, I don't know Hindi. My mom got really scared. I used to fail in all my papers, Hindi papers from first to sixth. So uh, that's me. November 2010, uh, I got, I developed an interest in photography. Uh, Dad bought me a camera in March 2011. He didn't have the faith in me about taking good pictures, so he waited. Again, I had to be part of the frame. That's in Ladakh. Uh, so this is this presentation is going to be a timeline of my journey as a photographer from when I st started off to now. And uh, this is taken at Coimbeiru Market. When I started off, I basically went to this market every weekend to work on my framing, color, contrast, and developing relationships with people, because I think that's the most important thing for a photographer. Uh, again, this is taken in a silk weaver in uh, Dakshin Chitra, Marina Beach, Perambur Station. These are, these are all photos in Chennai. And uh, this is just before a fashion shoot in Pondicherry, uh, Fort Alhambra, at 4 in the morning. So uh, I love shooting inanimate objects. I develop a lot of ins uh, get a lot of inspiration from. So there was this famous poet called John Keats, and he wrote a poem called "An Ode on a Gracious Own," which talks about how uh, when a when a when a individual looks at an object, he derives out different stories from an object. Okay, so this is some of my photo story work which I worked on. Uh, this is a village in Pulikat. Uh, very bad conditions to live in. That's a toilet and a kitchen in the same place. No electricity. To get ration, they had to go about three, four miles. Real, really bad conditions. Again, picture shot there. The government recently had built a lighthouse there because it was a major fishing village. And uh, this picture was taken there. This is on the way there. And now it's connected by a bridge. They finally built a bridge there. And for all of you who don't know, Pulikat is a place where photographers go to shoot birds. Uh, taken in Ladakh, uh, I, along with a French photojournalist, Yannick, and Varun Gupta, a Bengali photographer, uh, we wanted to uh, uh, document Ladakh, port portraiture and landscapes. So this is a picture of a little girl who was living with her brother and her family uh, by the side of a monastery. And that's the field they own. And her brother is a monk in that monastery. So really, really. Touching. Okay, so when Ladakhis, uh, so the way Ladakhis separate, segregate land is by stone walls, like this. And uh, Ladakhi tradition is such that if there are three sons in the same house, one will become a monk, one will join the army, and one will take care of the family back at home. This guy, uh, 90 years old, lives at Pangong Lake, where temperatures are like minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus 15. When I was there, it was minus 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, his son takes care of him. And the, he lives very close, very, very near to the land in the previous picture, the boundary wall. I tented there for quite a while. Uh, this shot took me about 45 minutes just to get that horse to get into the water and frame that picture so beautifully. It took me about 40 minutes. I had to wait there for the horse to come down. Uh, this is a part of my project which I worked on side by side uh, called Insignificant Us, where I show how humans are very trivial it, when compared to nature and that we should not misuse it. Uh, inspired by the architecture of Ladakh, beautiful, beautiful uh, window panes. Uh, this house is actually at the edge of a cliff. It, if I had actually framed it a little better, then you could see the mountains in the back. And this is all in a monastery. So just before leaving Chennai and coming over to Hyderabad, I wanted to document Marina Beach over a week. Uh, so every day from 7 to 11 PM, I used to be there with my 50 mm and uh, took lots of poriature. Uh, Marina Beach to me has been a place where I've learned a lot about exposure. Timing is very important. And light. Because light can be very, very challenging during night conditions. Uh, I did a fashion shoot at this beach with a very similar merry-go-round. I made the model 
stand right in the middle of that and i asked him to rotate it and i took a picture so cats so then i came over to hyderabad took about 2 3 weeks to settle down went over to chaminar shot uh bangles i've never seen so many bangles on one street i've taken about 20 25 pictures of bangles this guy has a facebook page he's on bangles street uh he came up to me and he told me this is my link try and promote my page and then this guy is uh this boy he takes care of his father's uh sari shop at the back he basically tra- tra- uh i mean okay so this is at warm and cafe in pune this is a recent photo story i did uh irani his name opened this cafe this pasi cafe uh on august 15 1978 and uh he was he had this cafe in bombay but then he moved over to uh pune because of his father in law and this is uh i love symmetry in photographs if you notice this photograph has semicircles long triangles this photo has again a lot of frames in it a frame within a frame uh squares any sort of and this is my last slide and this is uh, okay so this is uh, my recent work travel this is at pune this is taken on a train to chennai this is at velankani church and this is another photo story i worked on a uh, victorian theater in pune which has been refurbished and is taken over privately that's it thank you <laughs>